If you told 17 year old me that I went for a week trip in Europe with just this small bag, I would have a panic attack. Hey, this is Grace Follows from Taos and I'm going to show you what I packed for one week tour in Germany. So I wasn't on tour as an artist, I was there with my partner's band, which is called Three for Silver. I've been on two tours with them in the past where I was just kind of hanging out and selling merch and helping out, loading in, loading out. Last summer I was officially tour managing for them, but this time it was a little bit more chill. Three for Silver is like a super Super awesome band and you should check them out so I'm gonna drop their new music video in the description it's called things just get away from you and it's like really beautiful sweet little music video but I just thought this was a great opportunity to merge my two absolute loves in the world which is music and fashion so I wanted to make this video to show you what I was wearing how I packed for tour what was really useful what I didn't use very much and like what I learned from it so that if maybe you're packing for a tour in the future this could help you or if you're just packing for a trip. So the overall goal with like packing for tour is you're going to gigs every day. If you're performing, even more so, you want to look super nice. Even for me, just kind of like representing the band a little bit, if I'm selling their merch, I just want to look presentable and like cool. But you're also traveling constantly and it's really exhausting sometimes. So it's really important to have the most like comfortable but also cute clothes. And that can sometimes be a difficult balance to strike. So this is everything that I brought for the week. This bag is from Baboon to the Moon. I was looking forever for something that was like personal item sized, but that was like kind of fun and functional. And so this is like incredibly sturdy construction, really comfortable straps. I would say if I had to change something about this, I would love if it had like more compartments. I can't lie to you. I also brought my ukulele and a tote bag. This tote bag basically functions as like my purse. And I also was carrying around like snacks in it because I have some food allergies. So let's start with all the clothes I brought. I'm gonna just show you everything I brought and then I'm gonna tell you some of the outfits I actually wore, some of the things I maybe could have done without bringing or would have preferred to have, and some things that I kind of wish I had brought with me. So one of my favorite things about this Baboon to the Moon bag is that it opens like a suitcase. So it has this little like mesh pocket on the top where I put my dirty laundry. So mostly like my socks and stuff when they're gross. And then I brought my computer and I brought my US charger because my partner had their American to European converter. I did need to edit my YouTube video last week, so I brought this and I edited it in the car. This is what the inside of my bag looks like. I kind of KonMari fold everything so you can see it all at once, and I tried to like stay tidy and put stuff back where I got it out, which makes it a lot easier. And I'm just gonna go through everything and take it out and show you what I brought. So I brought this turtleneck, which is this like long sleeve rib knit one that's white. I also love this white one that has like a tie-dye on it. It kind of simplifies getting dressed every day if you have like duplicates, especially if they're like slightly different so you feel like you're still, you know, having options. And then my other base layer was just this green sweater, which is from Brandy Melville. And this sweater is also from Brandy Melville. The tie-dye one, I don't know where it's from. It was secondhand. Then for like bottoms and dresses, I had this dress, which I wear all the time. And then I had this green dress, which is like short with the puff sleeves. Both of these dresses are 100% cotton, so they're great for like different weather. They're not going to overheat you. Then I had my Big Bud Press work pants. These are so awesome <laughs> with this pattern. I love these. And I also think it's really great to have like patterned pants in case they're kind of dirty, it's not that obvious. Same with this dress, like I do love this white dress behind me, but I was like on tour, I'm not bringing a white dress, it's just not happening. And then my last bottoms was just this little tennis skirt from Los Angeles Apparel. It is so comfortable, it's just like cotton jersey, and so it's just really stretchy and it has like the shorts under, it's a skirt. So yeah, this is great because I have like slept in it very comfortably as well. Then kind of my outfit formula for this trip was like tights and leggings layered up. So like the leggings and then the tights. And I'd also wear like socks underneath the tights. And then I'd have, you know, a skirt over or the pants over. So I have three leggings. I only have four leggings, period. So I just brought like almost all of them. So these ones are like fleece lined and they're like nude colored, which is great for layering. I really like to put these under like sheer tights and then it kind of still looks like you're wearing just the sheer tights, but you're a lot warmer. Little hack for you. <laughs> but yeah, these are from Los Angeles Apparel and they're also 100% cotton. And then these are also just like cotton jersey leggings that are black. They're super high-waisted, like all the way up to the rib cage. I think they're kind of like meant to look like 
Lululemon leggings. They're just from a random boutique <laughs> and they were like $10. And then I have these ones which are from American Apparel back in the day. I've had these for like four years. I didn't bring any pajamas. I would just like sleep in my base layer. So I would sleep in like the long sleeve top plus leggings, which meant that I was wearing the long sleeve top plus leggings 24 seven. So these three sets of them got like very dirty throughout the eight days that I was traveling. If I were to bring like more of anything, it would be like maybe one more set of base layer stuff. And then I did bring this like t-shirt as well. It's just like a crop t-shirt. It kind of looks like Brandy Melville, but it's from Gap. I just thrifted this a few months ago in California. I just like this color as you can see. I really like how it like sets off my hair. I do find a lot of the time on tour and like when you're traveling and stuff, you may be in a situation where you're not in charge of like the climate control of where you're sleeping. I just always know sometimes you're gonna have like a sleeping experience where you're just overheated. So I brought this and I was really happy that I did because I did get in that situation and I could also so just like wear this as a base layer if I wanted to, which I did do one day. Then of course I have my tights. I brought four pairs. These are like some striped ones, which are the only not just like plain black ones I have. It's just this like pinstripe fishnet type thing. Um, again, these have like high percentages of natural fibers and less like polyamide or synthetic in them. And then I have these ones which are like more cotton and slightly sheer. And then I have two pairs, which are these like bamboo tights from Boots. I swear by these. I can't wait to buy another couple pairs next year. I don't know if you guys have this problem, but I always like wear tights in the spring and then overheat them. But the bamboo ones, like you don't. That is a shout. Then for bras, I just had these two little tops from Los Angeles Apparel. They're just like bralettes and they don't have any hook closure or like wire or anything. And so I find them really comfortable. I definitely can even just like sleep in them if I'm being really lazy. And I also like that they do kind of like function as a top as well. So if I just am like overheating, I can take off other layers and like this isn't kind of obscene looking. I have this in two colors. I have this like pistachio color, which I love. And then I'm wearing like the, um, it's called like shell pink. It's functions as a nude on me because I'm really fucking pale. And then I had some winter accessories. So I had this pink beanie. I love like rib knit stuff. So I just got this at a dollar store in Portland, but kind of awesome. Like it's my favorite hat lately. And then I have this beautiful scarf. I absolutely adore this scarf. I like tassels on it. It's like really big and cozy. I just like how it hangs and like how it has like hot pink and purple. So it really goes with my vibes. It just kind of looks like very fall winter to me too. Like it just looks cozy. So this I have to say is absolutely an essential when you're traveling because I mean, you might not have like a scarf you love, in which case don't bring any scarf. But if you do, it's just so cozy to like have on the plane, in the car, and I would like put it over my face when I wanted to nap. And that was amazing. This just like got me through. And then I also brought these silly little pink fuzzy gloves, which I got here in London at like a street vendor. I just love these because they're fingerless. So I'm never wearing gloves if they're not fingerless. Like obviously if it's snowing and stuff you would wear that but I just like get so annoyed taking them on and off to try to use my phone and like pay for things and like put on lip balm and whatever else that I'm trying to do so these are just awesome like I said it was fairly cold so I did wear these um I didn't wear them like constantly but it happened and I was really happy <laughs> when I had them then I also just had a couple of layering pieces so I had this cardigan by Liz Claiborne which I thrifted like three four years ago and it's just an absolute staple in my wardrobe. I love that it's like black, but also has this interesting thing. So it pretty much goes with everything I own. I do think it has like slightly a power clashing vibe with certain items, but that's completely fine with me. I didn't wear this as much as I normally do at home because this is like a daily wear for me usually. I think because a lot of the things I brought didn't have pockets, I wasn't wearing this as much as I could have been. And then the other layering piece I brought was this just hoodie, also from Los Angeles Apparel. I love this color because it's like, they call it clove and it's chocolatey brown, but it's kind of more cool tone and like gray. So this is one of my favorite pieces. It's like literally nothing exciting. It's just a hoodie. Um, I love the big pockets. I can put like my phone and my headphones, whatever random stuff I need to bring with me. And it just goes fine with everything. And I wasn't feeling very well during this trip. So I was really needing like these cozy pieces. Then of course I had socks and underwear. So one thing I have to say is I always try to bring my menstrual underwear. These are the ones from Thinks with me when I'm traveling. 
whether or not I'm like sure I'll be on my period, I just think it's like better safe than sorry. Especially these are cute, so whatever. But I have to say like, it may be TMI, but I do think that it's just like nice to have the extra layer of protection. It like keeps your clothes cleaner and stuff. And you just never know like what the situation's gonna be when you're on the road, like the bathroom situation. So I always bring <laughs> my period underwear. I have like six, seven pairs of these. So I did need to bring like a few regular pairs of underwear, in which case I just brought some like packed underwear. Packed is an amazing organic cotton, like underwear sock situation. I mean, they have a lot of other items, but I buy their socks and underwear and they're amazing. So I brought eight pairs all together. Like I was wearing one and then I brought seven. I also had the same number of socks. So first of all, I had some like fuzzy socks. These are from Maggie's Organics and these are the most comfortable. Again, they're like very high percentage cotton fleece. So I have to say fuzzy socks are an essential in life, in travel, in tour life. I feel like when I'm wearing these, I can just like sleep better if it's cold. Yeah, it just makes you not grumpy to have your fuzzy socks on. And I like that these are low cut, so they're not like as kind of frumpy as some fuzzy socks. Then I have just like a bunch of pairs of ankle socks. Some are dark and some are light because like to kind of like go with the leggings. So I have like these ones that I would wear when I was wearing the nude ones and then these ones that I'd wear when I was wearing the black leggings. Like I said earlier, I will put these underneath my tights because one pair of these will get dirty every day, but then I can wear the tights for like two or three days without them being dirty. These are obviously like very small. So in terms of like, if you have something that's getting unusably dirty very quickly, I think it's good to try to like plan for it to be really small items. So similarly, like if you have like an armpit situation, it's good to like have like a t-shirt that you can change out. And then I also love these just regular tube socks. These are great because they have like a little scalloped edge. So they're kind of like slightly feminine and I love them. And that is it for clothing other than my coat which is just this fuzzy teddy bear style overcoat. And it's like a very generous cut where like the back is kind of going out from your body. So I find like when I wear the hoodie and the cardigan underneath it, that's very comfortable. Whereas some coats are like fitted and then when you layer up, it's like too bulky, so. And a lot of the time I was just putting this on top of me at night like because again you don't really know where you're sleeping so maybe they would just have like one blanket and it was freezing in my opinion so i would put this coat as like another blanket also just to like sleep in the car on the plane big comfy coat very important the only shoes i brought on this trip were these mary jane doc martens with the platform I think they're pretty easy to take off and put on. They're really comfortable, but they also look like cool and nice for a night out or, you know, a gig. So these were my one only shoe and they're great. I think they look really good with dresses and tights. So that was my main thing. And then I also think they look pretty good with my like cropped pants that I was wearing. So that was the look. Moving on from clothes, I wanted to show you guys this toiletry bag that I brought. It is like regulation clear plastic zip up bag for flights. So that's why I bought this. I bought this at Daiso in LA and I love that it says, keep a simple life to let nature take her course. I really love like non-native English speakers designing like taglines and stuff. I think it's like the lyricist in me that just adores like really strange ways to put things. And I think learning a new language is an amazing way to like unlock your idea of what words mean and phrases should be like. So I just have like a travel deodorant. It's from Tom's. I have this tiny toothbrush. It has like a handle that you attach to it, but I like to bring just this like head when I'm traveling. I use rose water as my cleanser and I also sometimes put it in my hair or use it as a fragrance. So I like that it's kind of multi-purpose. I have this little jar for my moisturizer, which is just like mango butter. I love just like decanting my regular products into small containers when I travel. On that note, this is my toothpaste. It's just like a little food Tupperware container, but I just squeeze a bunch of toothpaste into it and that's great because it's like so much smaller than an entire tube of toothpaste. Then I also had this shampoo, which like I bought like a travel size thing a long time ago and then this is just the shampoo that I use now in it. Similar with this, that's a conditioner. And then I just have this very gross and old washcloth, which I use to take my makeup off and everything every day. So that's my whole toiletry bag. Then here's my makeup. I have the Naked Cherry palette. These colors are perfect. I use this one for my eyebrows and then I use one of these dark ones for eyeshadow. This is like an eyeshadow highlight and then these ones as like blush and highlighter. And sometimes this stuff for like contouring or like 
concealment. This is great because it has a mirror, so I can do my makeup on the road, I can do it in the car, I can do it in a cafe. I also love the Naked palette because it has these pretty nice brushes built in. It was actually really hard to find a palette that was like fairly small, that got all the colors I need, but this is literally all the makeup I own nowadays. Like I only left out a few products when I packed and I have a few things back in California, but this is everything I use pretty much. Then I have this small wide tooth comb, which is great for just daily detangling. I have this fine tooth comb because I do have like bangs so I just need to kind of straighten them out and tame flyaways with that. I have a couple scrunchies. This big velvet one is just like very strong and elasticated so I put that on my hair when I sleep and I also just pull my hair out of my face, get that out of the way. Then I have this pair of really cute ones that I like to do like matched sets of buns and pigtails and stuff like that with these. I brought just like some regular hair ties. They're actually currently in my hair but they're just a pair of pink ones that are very normal to do my little pigtail half up hairdo I do all the time. Then I have this like Glossier liquid eyeshadow, which I love the color of, but I think it ran out too quickly and that annoys me. I have this Tarte eyeliner, which has a little kitty on top and that's also almost out, which is disappointing because I love this. This is great because it's kind of like less wet than other liquids. It dries quickly, which again, is great for doing makeup on the road. This is like my blush brush, which I think is a paint brush, but we're gonna ignore that. I've got this angled brush for eyebrows. This is a white eyeliner from Urban Outfitters. I don't really recommend this product, but I do love wearing it. It's just like very abrasive formula. It like stings my skin and it also dries very slowly and like clumpy. And then like when you're wearing it, it's super dry and it like pulls your skin and kind of hurts. So kind of awful product, um, really, really cute style. Then I have the Glossier Mascara. I love this because it's like fairly natural looking and feeling. And then I have this Glossier Balm.com in mint. I just use this to moisturize right before I put on my lip color. I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I miss having the one with SPF, but apparently they don't have that in the UK. So this is what I have. And the last makeup item is also this Tarte concealer. When I replaced this, I was kind of disappointed to find, again, like the UK version of it is very small and I feel like a similar price, but good for travel. So what can I say? Sorry if you can hear children next door. There just are children like screaming for the last multiple hours. So I just am filming anyway, but then I just had three pairs of earrings, my normal silver hoops. Um, they're really tarnished. I just always am going through hoops, losing and breaking them. Then I have this pair of titanium hoops, which were a little bit more pricey and durable and like high quality. I always just have these as like a backup when I'm traveling because like I said, I always lose my hoops. So these are great. And they're also just very like comfortable and small. So they don't like get caught on stuff if I'm kind of feeling more utilitarian that day. And the last thing I brought for earrings was this mushroom. My partner has the same pair so I love these. I didn't like strictly need to bring these. I only wore them one day, but they're really cute. And then I'm always wearing the same other jewelry. So I have this puzzle ring, the Clotta ring. This one I bought recently in London. I have this bracelet that's supposed to be a necklace, but I love that as a bracelet. And then I also have these necklaces, which I just always wear lately and some titanium studs that stay in my second piercing. And that's all my jewelry. Again, this is kind of like all my jewelry. Like I only have a few other things, period. So that makes it really easy to pack. And then I'm gonna show you some of the non-clothing items that I brought. So in the tote bag, I had, first of all, my tea jar, always. I have this like, t-ball strainer so i brought that with me delicious it has like the lid so this is great travel item i am allergic to coffee so i am just as addicted to caffeine as everyone else i'm just not able to drink coffee um i brought this book which is a great book that i've been reading but i didn't read it at all on tour so i probably shouldn't have brought it and i just know that about myself i'm not a book person i read audiobooks a lot so i just should have like trusted that and not brought it just scream, just screaming children. They're just screaming. I guess they're having a great time, but like it's been so long and I keep trying to film. 
And then I do think a water bottle is an absolute travel essential. I don't really need to explain that one. I brought this food box because again, food allergies, like the day that I left, I packed a little lunch in it. And then it was also useful when I had like a random half banana to take with me and stuff like that. My partner was saying that they were having like their breakfasts from the accommodations a lot of the time. And then they would like take stuff from the breakfast for lunch. So I brought this also with that in mind. I didn't actually end up doing that much, but I did use it for other reasons. So I was happy to have this. I had a mask because Germany is still very COVID conscious in a way that the UK is not. I had my prescription sunglasses. You guys might not be aware that I'm really, really fucking blind because I always take off my glasses in videos, but yeah, these are a big deal. When I was driving in the other two tours, these were like absolutely inessential. I didn't actually use them this time. I wasn't driving. So I had hand sanitizer, again, COVID consciousness. I had this little pill box, which is really gross looking, but I just have like painkillers and like some supplements that help with my digestion. Cause again, food allergies. I have this little like ear box, I call it. It has some USB-C headphones for my phone, some regular headphones for my computer, and then um, high fidelity earplugs. One of the most important things to bring on tour ever. I always have this with me. This is always in my purse, very important. Then I had some loose leaf Fiorimonte, which is highly caffeinated tea. So this was again, what I drank instead of coffee every morning. It was usually possible to find hot water from our places that we were staying. So this was awesome. A few days I ordered like black tea and I, drink it black and it was awful. Haha, <laughs> so this was great. Then I just had tissues. Um, I feel like that's self-explanatory. I was saying earlier with like the bathroom thing, again, it's kind of gross, but like it's better to have them than to not have them. And then this is just like my menstrual cup and I have some other menstrual products. You just don't want to be caught like in an emergency. And then this is like my purse basically, like it's just this very big wallet. So this whole thing is like my purse, but then this is my actual essentials. So back here I have some lip products. I have like some lip gloss, my lip color, which I love and I'm wearing currently. Some lip balm, which is tinted. It's all kind of in the same color palette. I like to keep it simple with lip colors and just like buy all my products in the same color family so that it's like easy to deal with. And then this is, I'm just not gonna like show you everything, but like cards, ID, house keys, cash, everything else that I need. I was using cash a lot in Europe. It's like pretty cashless in the UK, but not in Europe, which I enjoy using cash. So that was great in my opinion. Had some euros in here. And I also just brought a pen, kind of random, but I feel like it's one of those things you just like sometimes need. And if you don't have it, it's really annoying. Um, again, on the last tour, this was like a big essential because I was tracking the merch sales, but they weren't asking me to do that this time. So I didn't really use that this time. It's interesting how you like do something so you think you know how to pack for it and then you do it again and like you don't use any of the things that you used last time so yeah and then i just had my ukulele which i wasn't feeling very well and so i didn't play this as much as i could my partner told me i should bring it because we could busk together and i wanted to do that so i brought it but then it was like raining the day that we tried to busk so that was a huge bummer i did just like play it in the hotel rooms and stuff sometimes. So that was still nice to have it as like a creative outlet, but probably if I went back in time, I wouldn't bring it. And then I also just brought my anecdotes tarot cards, which are like Joanna Newsom themed tarot and they're by this awesome artist. So I just wanted something to do kind of like same with the book. I brought it just like as something not on my phone to do in case my phone was dead, in case I was in a situation where it was like looking unprofessional to have my phone out, something kind of slightly passive to do. I did end up like doing a tarot reading, so I'm happy I had them, but again, I didn't like strictly need these with me. So yeah. So I'm just gonna go through now and show you all of the outfits that I actually wore during the trip. When I woke up at 4 a.m. on Monday and got on the tube and got on the plane and everything, I was just wearing basically what I'm wearing right now in this video, which is the knit top and the dress and tights and leggings and socks and Mary Janes. I had my hair down, I was wearing the hoodie, I was wearing the scarf, I was wearing the coat, I was just cozied up. This is like my go-to travel outfit since I bought this dress because it's so comfortable and easy to layer up and unlayer. Then on the second day, I literally wore the exact same outfit. I didn't even like change a single thing other than my socks. I just like changed my socks and underwear and 
was good to go. On the third day, I also wore this dress. You're sensing a theme. It did get very warm that day, so I took off the long sleeve shirt and just wore the dress by itself. And then in the evening, I was wearing the cardigan as well. And then on the fourth day, it was really cold and I was wearing the fleece lined leggings with tights and then the mini skirt, the skirt, so cute, tennis skirt vibe and the green sweater. And then I was also wearing the hoodie and the scarf <laughs> all the time. Didn't really see the green sweater. It was more about the hoodie and the scarf. And then of course the coat later in the day as well. On Friday was their day off. They didn't have a gig that day. So I went on a date with my partner and I wore the same dress <laughs> again, but this time with the tie dye long sleeve shirt. And I put my hair up in space buns and wore the little mushrooms and did my makeup a little bit more fancy. So that was fun. On Saturday, I was wearing the big bud pants with the green sweater. And I was just wearing like my beanie and the hoodie a lot of the time just having like a cozy day. And then on Sunday, I was wearing the green puff sleeve dress with the tie-dye turtleneck and the hoodie a lot of the time as well, because I just wanted to have the pockets and it was fairly cold. On Monday was the day that I left again. So that's the eighth day. I just wore the pants again, this time with the tie-dye turtleneck and the hoodie. And yeah, over top, I was mostly just wearing the hoodie, the scarf, the coat every day. Some days I was pulling out the gloves or the hat when I was getting extra cold, but it was pretty simple. I was like changing up my hair a fair amount and my makeup, not as much as I might if I was at home. I always feel like I will more when I'm traveling, but then I just don't. So um, that's kind of a thing to realize. Now I thought it would be fun to show you everything that like I maybe didn't need to bring, kind of take it out and then reevaluate how much I would have had if I'd decided to take out those things. Already one thing I didn't even show you was my shaving cream. I did bring it, but I didn't use it because I didn't have a razor. I was like gonna maybe buy or borrow one, but I just decided not to shave. So we'll take that out. We'll take out my green Glossier eyeshadow. I like this, but I didn't need it. Same with the white eyeliner and the mushroom earrings. These are all things that I did wear, but I just could have totally done without and been just as happy. They were just like a little fun creative thing on the day off to make me feel date ready, but I probably would have felt perfectly cute without them. The book, absolutely didn't need. The ukulele, like I said, I probably could have done without. And the tarot cards. Now this cardigan, like I said, is amazing. I wear it almost every day, but I didn't wear it on this particular trip that much. Um, and I think that was because of the pockets. So I guess we could have done without this. Could have done without one or maybe even two of my options for clothes because mostly it was about like changing out the base layer and I was pretty content wearing this dress as you saw four out of eight days so I probably could have maybe gone with the pants on the rest of the days or one other dress or something. Um, so I would probably first of all take out this dress because I only wore it once so that's just an indicator and then yeah maybe we would just take out this skirt as well because again I only wore it once. I was wearing this a lot the week before I left, so I thought it was like a good thing to bring, but um, it was just really cold to wear a mini skirt. As well as I think I could have done without one pair of tights, because I was kind of changing tights every time I was changing leggings. So I had four tights and then three leggings, so that was kind of just unnecessary. One pair didn't get worn. So could take out a pair of tights. And again, I didn't use my sunglasses at all, so I probably could have done without them. I could have said I didn't use my period products, so I could do without them, but I would always bring them just because you don't want to be in that situation, you know? So I'm going to try repacking this stuff into my smaller backpack and see if I could have just brought a smaller bag overall. Also, probably, again, if I could rewind time, I would choose to bring an actual purse plus a tote bag and have the tote bag be like folded up during the travel day and then take it out and just use it for like my snack bag because again, like with the food allergies, I always had snacks with me, but it was like really big and heavy. And every time I was like going around different cities and stuff, I wouldn't want to bring that whole bag with me, but that was also my purse. So I kept like just not having my purse and or having a very, very heavy bag and trying to like explore a city. So either way, that was kind of awkward. And I could have just brought my like Doc Martens purse, had my phone and wallet and like essentials in here and then had a tote bag like stuffed in here real small during the flight and then taken it out and had food in it and then put it back in the other flight. So I probably would rewind time and do that if I could. 
Sorry that the audio completely sucks during this section. My interface started acting up. And um, so here's the camera audio. Okay, so several hours have gone by. I have eaten an ungodly number of curly fries and those children were screaming almost the whole time. But yeah, my camera batteries died. But anyway, I'm back. So I tried to fit everything into the Fjall Raven bag instead of my Baboon to the Moon bag and it fit. If I took out everything that I didn't really need or use, this was possible. That's something to realize for next time. I could have just taken this smaller bag. It is very stuffed, but that into the moon bag was very stuffed as well. So the hardest thing to fit in was my laptop. I was actually able to close it into there. So I keep thinking like I'd really like one of the Fjall Raven laptop bags with like the separate laptop compartment because I feel like this is enough clothing for me to bring on a majority of trips, but it's always like wanting to bring my laptop or like a book or you know something else slotted in the back but i've traveled with this bag before usually for like two to four day trips and it's pretty fine because they do open up similar to a suitcase as well like and i also like that it has an outside pocket which the bag with the moon bags don't so i kind of wish i had this instead but yeah i just put all my socks in there <laughs> and then packed really similarly to how the other one was computer on top all the clothes and makeup and toiletries it all fits it's just like mostly leggings and shirts and then i have just these pants and like the underwear yeah obviously the sweatshirt and the coat would still come with me but they would be just like worn at all times so they would never be in the bag anyway thank you so much for watching i hope this was interesting if you want to see me do more like music related lifestyle and fashion content then just go ahead and like this video or leave me a comment down below also tell me some of your packing essentials if you've been on tour or when you're going on a long trip or going around to a bunch of cities because we all have different essentials so yeah take everything i'm saying with a grain of salt don't like copy my packing obviously you want to pack in a way that works for you that's the main takeaway also my main takeaway for this is that i could just basically live in this dress and i'd be happy so bury me in it and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>